Hello everybody, welcome back to our AC Dalla Kayimo. This is gonna be the last episode of these like three episodes in a row. I just don't wanna finish this quick session of AC Dalla without even playing a game. We're gonna play two games, first of all with my second choice team against Barry and then against uh, my first choice team, uh, with my first choice team, against the most important, the, probably the best team in the league. They even have El Ghazi, what the fuck? If it's the Ghazi, the big talent has to be, I don't know anybody else with that name. Wow, um, yeah, Pescara, Im interesting team. Before we go into the game against Bowie, let's have a look at our second choice team. Most things should be clear that Kiriago is playing on the uh, striker. Gyoki, Kogetsuko, Tarturis, Marfos, Pangati, Dinesco, and I still don't have a left back. I'm using Manola and Panagouis. That should be clear. The wing position is not that clear though, because we have Kaglayan, we have Kochebe, we have Antes, and we also have um, Zalik. Hmm, I'm very unsure. Gochebe I did enjoy using him, kinda, but not that much. Medium low, wide footed, I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking about because he is just left footed and uh, I'm not sure. He is he is not that good in finishing, but to use him like as right winger, try it out. And use Antes actually as left winger, especially because I don't really like Salik. And I think I'm actually gonna try that out. So I'm gonna just put Zalik on the bench and actually try out Kaklayan as right winger and Anders as left winger. That means our two biggest player, high weighted player, highest weighted player, um, our highest le uh, weighted left midfielder or left winger as well as right winger are not even playing. I just feel like Anders was our best goal scorer last season and he's improving a lot. He has decent pace actually. Our right stamina, he has some decent stats and um, I do like him. Low medium is shit, but it's a fine, I guess. And Kaglayan, if Kaglayan doesn't, if I don't enjoy using him, I might wanna use um, Antes as right winger and somebody else. So I'm not sure yet. If you have an idea there, who should play in the wing, uh, left wing and right wing position, you can really tell me because I have not decided yet. But this is the team I'm gonna try out today against Bowie, who did start off with four points in four games. We started off with seven points, so we are definitely the favorites. I would probably accept a tour, but I feel like if you play really good, we can definitely win this one. Oh, fuck's sake. Kaglayan. Ooh, that's... that's at li uh, I think it's only free kick, but this has to be a yellow card. Because we got through... I don't think we actually gave him a yellow card. I gave him. But we got a free kick. Kokitsuko with space. The shot is good enough. Not a goal, unfortunately. And how was that not a yellow card? We were through. One we won against the goalkeeper. That's at least... Uh, okay, it's not a red, but it is definitely yellow. Corner also okay. I mean, we played better yet. We were, we were the better team. We had now, because of these two chances, also more chances than them. And they concede because of such a bullshit goal. It's just so much... It's frustrating, man. Ooh, okay, another save. Come on. Pause it. Oh, nice. Kaglayan, please. That's... No, oh, that was a decent slide tackle, to be honest. Six minutes played, really disappointing performance yet. I actually was thinking about um, simulating this game. So I wasn't even sure if I really want to play. Not because of Bowie, oh, decent shot. I want to play against them, but because I don't want to use my Sanctuary's team. There are a lot of players I really don't want to use, like Manola, like Kaglayan, um, uh, I forgot Kiraku, the, our striker. There are a few players I don't really want to use. The thing is though, I decided, okay, I haven't played with my Sanctuary's team, of course, in this um, season yet, so let's use it. Oh, fuck's sake, please. Okay, nice block. But I definitely know that I'm not gonna play too many games this season with my second choice team. With my first choice team, I'm probably gonna play a few. But let's say I play 15 games this season, then I'm very sure like 13 of them are gonna be with my second choice team, uh, first choice team. I'm really not gonna use my second choice team too often. I really don't want to, and I'm just. Maybe this one, but I think in the next few episodes, I'm always gonna simulate whenever I would have to use my second choice team, even if the opponent might be interesting. If it's not like the most interesting game ever, I'm gonna simulate. Because I can't handle playing with the squad. It's so slow and so bad. You, It's so difficult to play with this. Oh. Okay, somehow we didn't concede. No idea why. I mean, it would have been unlucky and lucky at the same time. Unlucky, uh, lucky because we didn't concede with the first one. And lucky because... The way then the striker got the second touch was really lucky. But come on, we have 10 more minutes, my team is dead. I have subbed on Selig for Kaglayan, who I definitely... I'm not sure, man. He, is, he looks really amazing. All The only thing I really hate about him, the only two things, are uh, one star weak foot 
and high high work rates or high defensive work rates is the problem. I don't like that. It's not too bad, but once a week foot is bad. But he is just playing shit. He is just so goddamn bad. So, and I don't like Sadik. The, the wing position, I would even say, except of the left back position, because we don't have anybody there, the winger position is the biggest problem. Even though it's the highest rating, the biggest potentials in there, and you would think this is the main strength of the Sanctuary's team. I would say it's the main um, weakness, the biggest weakness. It's so shit. And is the only one I kinda enjoy using, because he is kinda playing intelligent. Yeah, fuck off. Come on. Ah, oh, they're scoring a second. Hey, they're scoring a second. Of course, had to happen. I mean, what else? Alright, I definitely know now that I'm not gonna play with my Sanctuary's team anymore and probably also not with Kaklaya because I can't fucking play with this dude. He is so shit. We're now gonna simulate this away game against Salerno, first choice team. They got 7 points as well, so we are basically on the same position. What the fuck are these names though? I mean, Ya, Yon, Hueb or something, then Smukczynski and Donnarumma. What the fuck? 3 to 1, boom! We do lose again. So we started off amazing with, I think, two wins in the first two league games. But then in the last four league games, we just got one point. So six in the first two, and then four, uh, one in the next four. So we are dropping down a lot right now. N not the biggest surprise, but... Um, yeah, there were some really unnecessary losses, so I will go through these things myself right now, but there are a lot of players um, I actually think I'm gonna release. There's one thing I wanna show you though, what I think quite interesting. We have this dude, Edis Kaimak, and they have this dude, Edis Ka Kakmak. Like, some names are so retarded. I had a lot of hope in this dude, but his potential is going down, so I might have to release him actually. He gone up to 63. So at least he's gonna be more expensive. Even if I don't use him, at least he's gonna be expensive and we can sell him. And I'm quite sure he improved quite a lot. I know that Wallis were below six, uh, below 70 and I think Bone Tone as well. He improved quite a lot. I'm not sure if his pace improved, but I think as well. So at least he's growing. Hey, dude, man, 87 to 94. I have to, I have to sign him up at some point. We did sign up this dude. I had a lot of hope, but he's 49 weighted. His potential might be good, but 49. Ah, in the age of 17 as well. And he's not fast, so I'm actually just gonna release him. Then we have this dude who has an amazing potential of 74 to 94, but he's slow. Is below 50 weighted in the age of 18 and therefore Imbo has an amazing potential, I'm gonna release him. Okay, this dude is amazing. Götze Baker, I have no idea, no idea how to pronounce it, but he's 53 weighted, it's not amazing, but it's decent enough. He is a right back, we could need another um, wing back, but he's also left footed, so I would use him as left back, just like Georgiadis who is left back, but right footed, I'm using him as right back. 81 to 94 potential, so he can grow fast and can grow a lot. Has decent pace with 74, 66, just ex, um, as comparison. Dinesco has, I think, 55 acceleration and like 62 spin speed, so he is a lot faster. Jumping strength, aggression, or right defending. I know that he's probably more of like a center back, but he is somebody really interesting. I would straight away sign up right now if he would be 16. So as soon as he hits 16, I'm gonna sign him up. Or this dude, who is a left back, but because his potential is so shit, I'm, even though I could need a left back, I'm actually just gonna release him. And I think that's already it, is it? Yeah, so this dude is the only very interesting player right now. There are a lot of ones, but the only one I would straight away sign up whenever I can. Whenever he hits six, uh, 16, I'm not sure when this is happening, I'm straight away going to sign this dude up. Greece brings me a player who might be amazing. Mikos Alexopoulos. 15 years old, 53 to 71. I hope he is as close to 60 as possible, even 60. I mean, the mid between 53 and 71 would be 62, 77 to 94 potential and he might be pacey. I really hope we got here a pacey either right back, right midfielder or right winger. I really hope so. He's left footed as well. Pacey right winger, 60 weighted high potential. I hope, please, just once, just once been kind to me. Turkey brings me a goalkeeper, 15 years old, 51 to 69, bad potential, I'm just gonna um, scout him for a second month, the other two are shit. There you go, Kali is improving, Bonk to attack position, finishing and crossing, he hit the 65 rating, with now 50s I'm finishing at least something, I'm gonna stop training him for now. I was thinking about if I maybe not should switch it up, and because always I've gone... Um, first trade the goalkeepers, then the defenders, then the midfielders and the attackers, this time to start the attack, but... Defense is still more important in my opinion, so I will keep doing it like this. Therefore, 
he I, he won't be trained for quite some time. Peruke at home now, who are in decent form. They lost against Fosnuna, but that can happen. But they got two wins, so they are the favorites. Three to one. Boom. We do get a Twardo, took us line with the goal, they got the equalizer and Kaplan actually missed a penalty. He stopped scoring, he scored a lot of goals in the start of the season, but now he stopped scoring and he missed penalties. So game number 5 without a win, uh, 2 points in 5 games, so we are dropped down to 14th, might even drop down to even worse. But again, it's not really a big surprise. We got 3 interesting players here, we got this dude who is the most interesting one. Um, again, right back, right, back uh, right mid, right winger or center mid, 15. Hopefully mid 50 weighted, decent potential, but I don't think he's gonna be pacey, but I'm gonna sign him up. We also got this dude, who I won't um, uh, sign up yet because I'm not sure about his potential, but especially 17 and he might not even be 50 weighted. Um, so I don't think I wanna sign up yet, but got him again. We can release um, this dude as well as this dude and the first one I think. Gyokyu? No, he is the other one, but he is a goalkeeper. So we do have two interesting players in here. I'm not um, signing up yet because I don't think he's going to be interesting and he is a goalkeeper and not that amazing for a goalkeeper. Even, seven, even though 75 to 93 is amazing, but he might be below 50 weighted actually. So both might be below 50. So ah, once again, I'm thinking about if I should. You can tell me right now in the top right, I will now right now give you the board. We do have a decent amount of money. Wage which you have 50,000 pounds, I could switch it up a bit, so we have 2.5 to 4 million euros. Should I keep the money in order to make transfers and sign players in the next transfer window, or should I spend the, uh, sorry, spend the money to um, sign a new scout, to release a scout who is scouting Romania, because I'm quite disappointed by him, and um, buy a new and a better scout, and they are worth like 2 million euros. Right now I feel like I want to keep the money, and only want to go for the next scouts when I can um, buy like 5 star 5 star scouts because we already have decent scouts with 3 star 3 star or 3 star 4 star and so I want to keep the money for now but if you want to you can tell me in the top right show me in the top right that you want me to spend the money and I will do so alright first just team now in the game the second one the last one we are going to play today against Pescara Calcio I do like the bait a lot the Stolfin and the Colors 96-36 I, I love it they should be first, they are by far, I mean 5 wins, 1-1 one, one loss, not sure why they lost the game, Vicenza actually didn't yet. 16 points, we are of course dropped down a lot, we had half of them, we have 8 points. And uh, yeah, they have the uh, least goals conceded and the, by far the most goals scored, so everything else with a, then a loss would be a big surprise. But of course this time I'm actually able to use my first choice team and I can play with my first choice team, so maybe I can actually surprise them. And get a tour, but I would accept a loss. The main thing I really want to do is have fun with this team, and um, if possible, at least score a goal, at least one, and maybe even get a tour. We'll see, but I don't really think we can get anything because Pescara is a lot stronger than us. Mia Kea, who is helping, I see the one. Kalis with space, Kalis sees the gap. First shot, four minutes played. Kalis tried to score there. Ah, yeah, it, uh, weirdly, I played four minutes with this squad, and it's such a different feeling compared to my Sanctuary's team. Just so much better. The runs, the passes, the tripling, everything is just a lot better. Of course, not a big surprise. I mean, they are my first choice, and the other one are my second choice. But there is such a big difference between these. The cross from Oshjoy! Close one. Okay, mm the striker just decided to not even shoot. What? Okay. Oh, okay. Not sure how the fuck this happened, but uh, they somehow got a chance. Agassi's injured. It's quite funny. In the first game already against Barry, they had to make a very early substitution after somebody got injured. And then the second game now, we are playing right here. They already made a substitution because of an injury. They already made one. And now Agassi's also injured. I think they subbed off their left back. And they subbed an off as well. I think they made already two substitutions because of injuries. I mean, there was an update yesterday, there was a big update, or like 800 megabyte or something, and I have no idea what, uh, what it is about, I guess probably again Ultimate Team, but maybe they changed something on the injury system and now there are a lot more injuries, because all in all, I played two games, or like one and a third game since the update, and the CPU already made three early substitutions because of injuries, which normally is not happening at all. Kaplan took a slam with space, come on. Just cut inside, short posted, 
Of course, this one dude had to block it. Fuck's sake. We are not playing a lot better, but we are playing better. We are closer to the goal. And I would love to score. And then it is Danny's Kaplan. He finally scored again. The player who just looks like myself or like 95% scores with a header. That would not happen with me. I can't score headers. I mean, I have played football twice for a cl football club. But stopped playing already with like 16 or something. Because I lost interest in playing football, at least that kind of football, um, professional kind of football. Um, just wanted to play like 5v5 with a few friends. But what I want to say is, I can. I was always like a defender. I was. I always wanted to be like a cross kreuz bender type of player. Somebody who never stops running non-stop, box to box. That was always my type of player. Either I played box to box midfielder, or I played center back, or I played um, goalkeeper. These were the three things I always played, but most of the time I played center back or box to box, depends. But um, headers, I ne never was able to do headers, so it's quite a surprise that. But I see, I see myself a bit in Dennis Kaplan with not only because of looks, I just see myself a, a bit in Dennis Kaplan, so it's quite funny to see myself basically um, score on header. If you know what I mean, it's just for me. One of the main things I love about this Kaimut, uh, this Kaimu, to have like a player, I, c I just can really, f uh, can see myself on him. That's just amazing. Come on, Osher, please clear it. Uh, okay, nice. So one and a half time deserved, I would say. We had a lot more chances. We are winning the tackles. We are the better team. Not sure how this makes sense that we are dropping a lot of points, losing against teams we should lose against, and then play way against by far the best team, first place, best attack, best defense. And get quite an easy one to win at half time. Scoring a goal could have scored more against the best defense and not even we're not even close to conceding against the best attack. However that makes sense, it's happening right here. And now we just need to go for like 45 more minutes to get three important points after five games without a win. Ah, oh, space. Please, Fanakulias makes the save and in the end it's ex oh, it's a corner. I actually thought we would be lucky enough to get a goal kick. But we should be able to clear. We aren't another save, but uh, then we get the clear. Oh, look at the space. The pass through for Kalis. Kalis, come on. 1v1. Just a long post shot, please. The finish is not even close. <sighs> Kalis, 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 man. Pass it through. The pass is actually amazing for Turkaslan. 1v1. Kalis is running with, but I will try with Turkaslan. The finish is not good enough. Try to get it under the goalkeeper. I think I should have maybe taken a shot earlier, but I was actually waiting for Kalis to see if he could do it. So if I that I could just make a quick pass to the other side and then tap it in. But we still might have a chance, Mirkia. If we don't win this game, I actually would be disappointed because of the amount of chances we have and how we are controlling this game. If we would be a bit more efficient, if we would have a very good goal scoring uh, striker, pacey goal scoring striker, this would be a 3 for a win, for sure. But because of this shit, we only score from a corner. Pass it through. Oh, look at the space for Turkaslan. Look at the space. The shot is amazing. Finally, we scored the second. 65 minutes. And then it's a quick one too between Turkaslan and Oshjoy. And Turkaslan has the finish. The shot, very good. Very, very good into the long post. 2-0. Finally, Turkaslan scoring it and yeah, now we should be able to get this lead into the next or through the next 25 minutes and then win this game, get three good points. Pescara really disappointing. I really was looking forward to this game and then they play so shit. I mean, yet it's very easy to play against them. They play really bad. We have no problems to defend and my team is not really the best defensive team ever. Oh, okay, and then straight away we concede, it had to happen, I mean, of course. We concede, score the second, feel sure that we are gonna win, feel safe. Talk about how they can't really create chances and how easy it is to defend. Boom, goal. Just had to happen, of course. Post and then they get the rebound. Alright, 2-1. We're still winning, 20 more minutes. I, sh I still think we are, we are safe, we will get this win. But we should, of course, maybe even score another one. Georgiadis, the finish is actually amazing. What a response to the response. We score 65 minutes. They score 68. We score 71. A lot of space for Georgiadis. And this is why you put him on the right back side. Because he's right footed. And that was a beautiful finish. None of our swaggers could make such a finish. The cookie didn't even jump because he saw they had no chance. He was only able to hope that the ball would go to the post or something. 
What a goddamn finish by Georgiadis. Oh wait, we are winning 3-1 again. Three goals against the best defense. What the actual fuck. Okay. We are ultra defensive, just checked again and we are so open. Good save, good save. And he catched it. Panagulias, the god. But like, how can we be ultra defensive and still one long ball and there are like two against the goalkeeper basically and so through. How can this even happen? Kalis. Oh, very nice. Kalis with the shot. He was of course the one player who still hadn't scored third big chance for him. Even though that wasn't like a big chance, it wasn't easy to score. He made this actually quite decent. The other one, the other two, well, he should have scored at least one goal in this game, to be honest. But okay, three minutes injury time, we will win this game. Once again, you can probably hear in the background. Wait, we fast. Yeah, I think you can hear that. This is the noises my dog makes while sleeping, what I talked about yesterday, or I talked about a few times. He's making some weird noises, but I think it's really funny. There we go, we got three important points in the away game against Pescara. Would have never expected that against against the best best gear Bowie. What the fuck against Bowie? I thought a draw we should be able to get at least maybe in the win. We we'll lose, and against Pescara, I feel like a draw would already be a sensation. We win. What the fuck? Now I'm gonna check with fast if I still gonna simulate a few games or if I gonna end this episode right here. But first of all, is Targos improves 64 weighted. Wanna improve him one more time and also Anton Bolos should go up in the next training to 60. And Chris Targos maybe actually will hit the 65 already in the next training. The next three games are against Essena, they are 7th. Then um, Avellino who are 4th. And against um, Benevento. I will definitely end this episode still this month because I'm not going through the uh, transfer, uh, the whole new squad updates and stuff again. So I will simulate the game against Asena and I might play against Avellino if they get a win in the next game. If they have 18 points after 9 games, I will play against Avellino. The thing though is, um, the only... Uh, no wait, I can. I thought um, we would have a game right here, no, but I can use my first year squad in both games. So I'm gonna simulate this one and then we'll have a look if how Avellino played and if I think they will win and then I think I will play against them in the next episode that will be out in a few days probably but right now we're gonna simulate this one 3 to 1 boom we do lose Panagos injured though so let's hope he is not injured for a long time I did not have to sub him off straight away so please two months ah fucking hell man can we not just have like a few days of an injury like Five day injury, always mums, are you fucking kidding me? Third just goalkeeper now 60 weighted, so I can give these two slots to Ostjoy, I think. He's almost 61 as well, and in the next training, or at least in the second next, Chris Targos will hit the 65, and then I can give these two slots to one of the center backs. Avelino did win, they have 18 points after 9 games, so they have 5, ones, uh, five wins, 3 towards 1 loss. They don't score a lot, but they actually have the best defense in this league yet or right now, together with Kiavari. So I'm gonna play this game, they are interesting. I will therefore next episode start off with playing with my future team against Avellino. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, then please smash the like button, that would help me out a lot. Also, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content, wanna see more. Um, I'm thinking about streaming, so I might check, uh, try out a few things. So I might stream our next few days, so if you want to tell me when you, it would be a good time for you, you can tell me that in the comments. Don't forget to vote in the top right, except for this, just have an amazing day guys, I will see you tomorrow, and bye.